The two days pre-test for the Nani aligned movement and G77 plus China summits ended on Sunday 17th, December 2023. Now, in the case of a head of state who disembarks on the commercial terminal, one of the ministers who are going to be here should be able to receive him on the steps of the, on, or at the bottom of the steps of the aircraft receives him, and then as the team will show us, they drive him the VVAP terminal. That minister and the protocol team that are here, they don't leave this place. At Entebbe Airport, the teams focused on receiving the heads of delegations alongside delegates. Those flights, there are two heads of state, you have eight. How do we handle of them, put them in the convoys, transfer them to the other side? Could we have a, an option of where we clear some of them? Now, even that one, even if we bracket it. We are going to have vice presidents, prime ministers who are not heads of state, who are also going to be coming in big numbers. The National Organizing Committee of the two summits says 16 heads of state have already confirmed participation. For instance, we have our senior officials starting on 15th. Some officials may arrive here on 13th. But most important, the advanced teams of heads of state some of them come even 10 days before. That's why you want to inform the team at the airport, be immigration, be baggage handlers, that they should expect that from 12th January, the activity starts. It is also anticipated that more than two heads of delegations will touch and take a runway at the same time. We follow vehicles generally for the airside boom facilitation. First of all, we need to know that we have motorcades which are made for the heads of states, the general motorcade, to move them from Entebbe International Airport to Mujonyo. But for this exercise, and also in reality, the motorcades are going to be divided. We'll have a motorcade that is sufficient to move on the airside within the regulations provided by CAA. So this will be few vehicles. Ideally, five vehicles, and we are on the extreme. The training also looks at how other VVIPs, including vice presidents, prime ministers, and United Nations representatives, will be received. We are going to have heads of delegations that majority of them, according to the confirmations we are receiving, are not going to be heads of states. And uh, they are going to be actually majority foreign ministers. So far, flights have come, and they will fit in the that area where the gate of the flight, where delegates are going to hold, as to wait for baggage and immigration. We have that space. With the NAM summit ending on 20th January 2024, some heads of delegation will start exiting Uganda as others jet in for the G77 plus China summit. The team is also vesting in effective and timely handling and clearance of cargo and immigration process. The two-day simulation exercise was closely monitored by the Secretary to Cabinet, also Chairperson, National Organizing Committee of the two summits, Lucy Nachobe. Participating parties included officials of Foreign Affairs Ministry and Works and Transport, Uganda Police Force, UPDF, Special Forces Commands, SFC, Media, among others. Robert Nyango. UBC News.